Hello you guys, hope you're doing so well. Today I'm gonna to take you through another what I eat in a day. It is currently four o'clock. So I've been fasting for a very long time. I did not mean to push my first meal to this hour, but I filmed a video, I had to run errands, and I needed to film my what I eat in a day, so my day just got really delayed. So for my first meal, which is gonna be really quick, and then I'm gonna go right into making my second meal because I need to just squeeze them in before seven, which is when I like to stop eating. I'm going to start off with one whole cut up mango. I like to have fruit on an empty stomach. I almost never eat fruit after I've eaten cooked food. It's better for my digestion. If you eat fruit or anything kind of raw that digests very quickly, after you've already filled your stomach with food that breaks down very slowly, protein, things that are cooked, that are gonna take their sweet time exiting your stomach, it's just going to cause that quickly digesting fruit or the vegetables that you had afterwards to break down, form gas, and cause bloating. And so if you've noticed that that is something that you struggle with, try switching around the order in which you eat food. Eat your raw, raw stuff first and then eat your cooked stuff after, which is kind of counterintuitive to what we're used to doing, which is eating fruit for dessert and all that. So. Try doing that, let me know if it works for you, but it's what I do and I find that it's really, really good for my stomach to eat that way. So my one mango is cut up there. I would say it's probably around anywhere between 75 to 100 grams of mango, because it was a big one. And then I'm going to add in some coconut yogurt. So this is unsweetened. Yeah, I was just checking, it's unsweetened. And this one is actually vanilla flavored. I did not mean to grab the vanilla flavor one, but I'm gonna use it now that I have it. And I don't like to eat dairy. I find that I break out when I eat dairy. So I switched out my yogurt to this one and I love the taste of this one. It really doesn't taste too coconutty at all. It just tastes very fresh, kind of along the lines of like Greek yogurt. So I really enjoy this one. I just put, um, how many spoons was that? Three, four? Not really sure. I will count it in this video and let you know but just about that much yogurt on top of my mangoes and then i'm going to add my makeshift granola in another video i really want to show you guys how i make an at-home granola but for the sake of time in this video since i'm trying to just eat all my meals very very quickly i'm going to go in with some almonds and i'm going to add that in so just about a pinch of almonds and then there is this great granola cereal from Nature's Path. It's called Kia Superfood and has chia, buckwheat, hemp cereal, and dried cranberries, and it's a really nice breakfast cereal. I also like to mix this in with some coconut milk, allow the chia seeds to absorb the milk and become really gelatinous, and it makes a really good morning chia seed pudding. But I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top of my bowl and this is not that pretty of a bowl but it's just more about my needing to get in my food very quickly so you have your mango on the bottom the yogurt your toppings you can actually go ahead and put whatever toppings you want on top these are just what i like and they're good for my stomach and i'm gonna go very quickly into my next meal so i like to keep this really light and kind of like a dessert to start your day so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then i will be right back that was such a fast meal i don't think i've scarfed down food that fast in my life but now i get to prep for my next meal which is gonna be fries and a burger without the bun and a big salad so this is just a regular potato and um, i'm gonna chop this up into little fries, I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. I'm gonna warm up this kebab or burger that's already been made and I'll tell you guys exactly what is in it. We're gonna assemble a salad and make a nice big, well-balanced but hearty meal.
there you have it. This is my big hearty lunch. I made my air fryer chips, a selection of seeds and some dried apples, a big assorted salad with red and green cabbage and some kale kebabs. I will write the recipe in the description below, some fresh beets, and I am also going to add some of this sauce on top for the burger. This is a really great Mexican style sauce and it doesn't have any cane sugar or sunflower oil or any of that inflammatory stuff that I like to avoid as often as I can. I'm not 100% about it, but if I can avoid it, I will. So this goes really great with the burgers. I'm gonna put it on top and enjoy. So it is much, much later. It's actually nine o'clock, two hours past the time when I wanted to stop eating. But that last meal was so big, it took me a while to finish it. So while I normally would be satiated by now and I would just stop eating, I did want to fit in another meal today, calorie wise and also for the sake of this video. So what I wanted to do was actually try out this TikTok snack hack. A healthy TikTok hack? Something like that. I don't know what it's called, I'm not on TikTok. But essentially, people have been making these quesadillas not using cheese and I thought that I would try it out with you guys. I've actually made it before and I love it. So I am going to do it again. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take grain-free tortillas, just like this, and I'm going to grease a pan with a little bit of ghee and then I'm going to put the tortilla down and cover the top layer with hummus. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on another tortilla and put both hummus sides facing each other. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back. So because these tortillas are grain free, they kind of come in all shapes and sizes, but this is with one side already cooked and flipped over. And as you can see, there is hummus on the inside. I saved the edges because the hummus gets nice and melty and gooey, just like cheese. And I don't want it to leak out of the edges when we eat it. But this is already looking so delicious. You can actually put other toppings inside if you want, but I honestly am just so full. I don't want anything more than necessary. So, I'm just doing it really simply and I'll probably just have this with some salsa. The hummus that I used was this hum hummus from Fontaine Santé and it has roasted red peppers in it so it's a little bit nicer than your basic hummus and it doesn't have any bad ingredients except for canola oil. Um, but since we're not heating the hummus too, too much, the smoking point of canola oil, which would be my main concern, isn't too bad. Um, but other than that, it doesn't have any sugar and any other ingredients that I would be wary of. So not a bad pickup at all. And the salsa I'm going to use is this Fresh Cravings Salsa. Same thing with the ingredients. It's a super clean profile. So I love having this. So I can't eat all of this myself, so you're going to do half. You're going to get half at me. Are you using me for my stomach? Yep. Okay. You're going to really okay. like this though. You're okay with that. Mmm. Amazing. So this is the finished product. It is nice and toasted on the outside. It definitely doesn't look that aesthetic, but it smells amazing, right? I can't smell. Okay, well, <laughs> it smells good to me. Do you want to do a taste test with me? Sure. Okay. Cool. I'll pick up this piece. Doesn't it taste like there's cheese in here? Not much. But it tastes really good. Okay. Well, to me, in my mind, it tastes like there's cheese in here. I didn't taste the hummus outside. But that's because you know that there's hummus in here. But if you didn't know, I might think there was cheese in here. Exactly. Such a hater. 
Okay, so me and Miza are going to finish this off. I'm going to go and shower and get ready for bed and then I will check in before I go to sleep. It's the end of the night. I am just sat here editing this video actually. I am going camping for the next few days. So I wanted to make sure that this video was done, edited and uploaded so that I can publish it while I'm on the go. And I am just doing a mask. I filmed a makeup review earlier today the selena gomez rare beauty review if you haven't watched that yet do check it out and because i was wearing that all day long i decided i would do a little skin cleanse and also because i'm going camping and i won't have proper skincare and whatnot i'm just doing a pre-cleanse before nature takes its course so i'm using the teamy beauty butterfly mask contains butterfly pea flower extract which is really rich in antioxidants that's where this color comes from it also contains zinc oxide which is amazing for minor abrasions rashes it's got a mild astringent property so it really helps with breakouts and decongesting your skin and at the same time it also contains kaolin clay which is a really really gentle cleanser for the skin but while all of that is doing its job this mask also contains sweet almond oil as well as aloe so while all of the cleaning ingredients are doing their job the hydrating ingredients are going to replenish your skin all at the same time so it never feels dry and depleted and that's why i have it on i like to do it after a shower i've been using it for about I'd say three, three or four weeks now, and I use it once a week. I like to use it, like I said, after a shower so my pores are nice and open and it can just clean my skin really nice and thoroughly. And I also like to do this right at the end of the night so I can get into a relaxed zen mode and it helps me sleep. It helps me relax at the end of the night and um, allows me to just wind down and shut my brain off. So. I'm going to keep this on for a couple more minutes. I'm going to rinse it off, finish editing, and call it a night. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. I love making these videos. I love cooking. And it's kind of fun for me now because I'm trying to get better at plating my food so it actually looks aesthetic and inspiring for you to actually want to eat the food because I just plate it for myself. And you can't taste it or smell it and understand how good it is so i need to make it look good um so it's fun and if you would like to try this mask i will leave a discount code as well as my link down below in the description and i hope that you check it out otherwise that is all for now and i will talk to you next time bye